The RS Nor. Such a beautiful piece of redstone circuitry. Its ability to turn any button to, into a switch is unparalleled. Except by this! Hey all, this is TCGM and I'm back with another redstone tutorial. This one is my design of a redstone nor gate. <laughs> it's the smallest and cheapest one on YouTube. I checked. There is another design which is apparently the smallest which is, it goes like this. But, it uses six redstone instead of four. So yeah, I still win because mine's the cheapest. Booyah! Okay, see they're pretty much the same size, I think. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. No! No, mine's actually smaller! Ha! 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 I have the smallest RS Nor design on YouTube. Suck that. No, okay. Well, so this is an RS Nor. I know that <laughs> this is kind of big. Whoopsie. But this is basically this. This is that, and that is this. Except this is a hell of a lot smaller. It's also easier to use because the inputs are quite <laughs> easy to find, and it works. And it works. Uh, it doesn't have a single out or single in. This one has out and in, with the exact same thing. So you can choose one for input, like uh, say. Okay, on this RS Nor. There is an input. That, shut up, cow! There is an input redstone wire thingamajigger, which turns off this torch, allowing this, tor this torch to turn on and powering this. So, that is the in. And then here is the output of the RS NOR. Then this is the reset thing that when you apply redstone current to it, resets the switch so that it can be used again. Oh my god! There. Okay. What the hell? Okay. But, um, where was I? Was that that? Oh yeah, okay, so that's the research reset switch. And it cannot be kept on. See, look, it doesn't, it doesn't stay on. This one does stay on because of that torch. But mine has it, my design has it so that both the reset uh, input and the input can be kept on individually. Boom. Boom. See, it is that easy. Extremely easy to use very cheap and small smallest one and uh, yeah so that's pretty much how you how it works works just like that except it's tiny so this is how you build it beep one two beep boop boop wing 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 no not that this and this and you have the smallest R snore in existence okay so, knowing this, we can make a T flip flop. Yep, this is my T flip flop design, and it is the only one which does not have a clock. That's right, this T flip flop does not use a clock, it uses an AND gate and my RS NOR design. So we click, bing. So say this is the output, right? Uh, no. Yes. So that's the output indicator. This is the piston map, by the way, that I do my piston tutorials on. It's called piston play. So what was? Oh, auto saving world. Okay, I have a mod that auto saves the world. Back on topic. Say that is the output indicator. Thingy. So we click this, 
and it turns on. Click this again, and it turns off. There's no clock involved whatsoever. Now, it's very, very simple to build. I mean, look, look at this. This is like, this is nothing. This is easy peasy. So, oh, and you can have multiple outputs as well. Let's see, here's the uh, other output. Boop. Um. Yep, see, multiple outputs. You can also have inverted outputs that are also additional outputs. Let's see here. Yep, so if you do this, you have an inverted output. And if you do this, you have multiple outputs of the same type. Bing! Bing! It actually works surprisingly fast. I didn't expect it to work that easy. I mean, fast, not easy. It's It takes like, what, what is that, two ticks? I have to say this is possibly the fastest um, T flip flop on YouTube. I'm probably wrong, but it is the only one without a clock, so I still win. Ha! So yeah, I'll show you how to build it. So you need to make an AND gate six blocks long. Put these and put torches. Tada! That is that section. Now, these are extremely important, these repeaters right here, because they determine whether this thing is screwed up or not. They have to be set at maximum. So that's three right clicks. We'll set them at a point four um, tick. So that's how you do that. That is pretty much what makes the whole thing go around. That one little repeater and that one. The two little repeaters are what makes this whole thing possible. Now, put a redstone here and here. And, and then you put a block here, torch there, redstone here. Do the exact same on the other side. And connect it to the repeaters. Okay, so obviously that this doesn't work right now. But it will in a few seconds. So we put, now we do my RS NOR design. So you do that and that. And no, not that. Um, what am I doing? Ah, yeah, there we go. That is how we do it. And then it is completed. It's that easy. Yes, it is that easy to build this thing. Um, I need a button. Where is a button? Button, but there we go. <laughs> so put that there and then you just pretty much click the button and it works no clock whatsoever these um hmm i appear to have screwed something up i think huh give me a couple seconds no, I know I didn't. Oh, that's what I. There we go. Okay, I missed that. Put that there. Don't be stupid like I does. There we go. Now it works. <laughs> so yeah, that is the no clock T flip flop. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by one, two, three, four, five. Uh, nine by five by two, three. Nine by five by three. So yeah. That is how it works and how to build it.